Any self-respecting Pixar fan could tell you that the animation company's movies are filled with references and Easter eggs of its back catalogue. But producer Mark Nielsen has admitted that there's nods to every single Pixar movie in Toy Story 4. We're going to be exploring them in 3, 2, 1. As usual, we will be issuing a spoiler alert because we're about to be revealing some details from the film. The movie opens with a flashback to nine years ago, explaining the absence of Bo Peep from Toy Story 3. She was last spotted singing with Woody, Buzz, Jesse and Wheezy in Toy Story 2, but fans complained that it wasn't clear whether she'd been broken or was donated. Outside, the license plate on the car is RMR F97. Licence plates have been used in Cars and Toy Story 2 to mean a whole range of things. This one refers to when Toy Story 2 was accidentally deleted from Pixar's edit system. RMR F97 was the command on the computer that deleted the film, which had to be restored using a backup file. Bo Peep assists Woody in rescuing RC from a storm drain. A card is passed through the group to use as a launch pad. On this card is a crude drawing of Rainbow Unicorn from Inside Out. You in Fairy Dream Adventure Part 7. Okay, bye. Are a toy. You belong to Bonnie. Take a closer look at the boxes at the back of the classroom when Bonnie creates Forky. One of them belongs to Anton, a possible reference to food critic Anton Ego in Ratatouille. Bonnie's room has some similarities to the wallpaper in Andy's room in Toy Story. And later in the film, we see a bedspread full of Pizza Planet style rockets that are the same as in the original movie. The van that the family goes on vacation in is a Tri County RV. This links to references to Tri County International Airport in Toy Story 2 and Tri County Landfill in Toy Story 3. One of the vacation spots is a home that looks eerily similar to The Incredibles House. Woody and Forky come across Second Chance Antiques. The store sign tells us that it was established in 1986, the same year as Pixar. Also, the building address is 1200. Now, Pixar is based at 1200 Park Avenue, Emeryville, California. Outside the antique store is a ship it removal van. This same company van crops up in Toy Story of Terror. Inside the store is where we get lots of movie references packed in. There's a vintage record from Chalupa Records from Coco. There's a green diver's mask and tiki heads from the fish tank in Finding Nemo. Bo Peep slides past a plate that has an ornate looking symbol from Brave in it. This plate could be seen in several shots. A yellow plane hanging near the window resembles Sunwing from Planes. There are also awards cases from Gustav's office in Ratatouille and furniture from The Incredibles. Take a closer look at the key that the antique store staff member is holding. It looks very much like Sora's Keyblade from Kingdom Hearts. Fans have speculated that this is a nod to the upcoming Square Enix title, Kingdom Hearts 3. The antagonists from the antique store are a group of vintage toys. The ventriloquist dummy Vincent bears a resemblance to Slappy the Dummy from Goosebumps, and Gabby Gabby has the same yellow bows and dress as Chatty Cathy from the 1960s. Here's where The Shining comes in. From carpets to garbage truck license plates, Stanley Kubrick's film has made an appearance in many Toy Story movies. A record is put on playing Midnight, The Stars and You, as performed by Ray Noble and his orchestra. This is the same song as played at the end of The Shining, as the camera pans out from a photograph showing Jack smiling at the Overlook Hotel ball. Fans have also suggested that the old lady's home address when attacked by Ducky and Bunny is 237, so keep an eye out for that. Combat Carl is back. We see a Combat Carl doll being blown up by Sid in the first Toy Story. This version though is a Carl Weathers lookalike from Toy Story of Terror. Rumour has it that John Lasseter wanted to use a G.I. Joe doll in the original movie, but Hasbro was upset that the doll would be blown up, so they agreed to make up a brand instead. Buzz flies into a purple and yellow spider-like ride that has the same colour palette as Zerg, his enemy in Toy Story 2. There's a spinning ride next to the Ferris wheel, with a purple and yellow umbrella structure. 
This looks exactly like the sundrop flower from Tangled. A stall is called Jetstream. Echoing the character alias Strut Jetstream. It's in this fairground that Bo Peep loses her arm. Throughout Disney-owned franchises, characters lose an arm in a nod to Luke Skywalker's amputation scene at the end of The Empire Strikes Back. Bo's sheep bring her a bottle cap and a safety pin while out foraging. The cap they give her is from the same grape soda bottle in Up. Later in the film, Buzz gets trapped in a ring toss style game. Other prizes include the guitars from Coco, rockets featuring the Pixar ball, and a red and yellow stuffed toy flame resembling anger in Inside Out. I think Duke Kaboom looks a bit familiar. He actually cropped up in Incredibles 2, lying in the corner of Jack Jack's crib. Bo and Woody approach the secret entrance for a club in the antique store. Above this, we see a decoration for Catmull's bruise, after Ed Catmull, the long-standing studio exec who's stepping down after Toy Story 4. Bo presses a 25 cents button on the slot machine to enter the club. The number 25 pops up a few times in the film. This could be a nod to the Toy Story 3 maker Lee Unkrich, who's stepping down at Pixar after 25 years in 2019. Inside the club, we meet Tin Toy from the 1988 Pixar short Tin Toy and the Eagle from Toy Story 2's. So think Mr Potato Head sounds familiar. Don Rickles' voice is actually in the movie, despite the fact that the actor died in 2017. He had signed on to the movie before his death and his vocal likeness was compiled through various shorts, games and theme park voiceovers. And yes, we found A113. It's a door number from the California Institute of Arts, and it's a number that crops up in nearly every single Pixar movie. Also, did you spot Dino Co Gas? The RV stops there. It's the same chain of gas stations that Woody and Buzz get stranded at in the original Toy Story. Look closer at the poster for the movie, and you'll see a reference to Up. A painting hangs on the wall behind the gang of dogs playing poker. The same dogs that Russell sailed past holding a bunch of balloons. Think you spot anything that we missed? Comment below.